One of the biggest challenges of owning a device and keeping it long term is the battery. Trying to find a replacement battery is next to impossible. And it's not just you as a consumer. It's me too. And I'm a refurbisher. It's me too. And it just so happens the battery is the one thing guaranteed to eventually need replacement on your computer, your cell phone, your car, if you have an EV or a hybrid, your wife's vibrator. Now this problem magnifies itself on the grand scale when you're dealing with the amount of laptops that I'm dealing with. Because as you know, I refurbish laptops now. And it's a time crunch because October is coming soon. And you know what happens in October, Lupe? No. In October, Windows 10 is no longer going to be supported and hundreds of thousands of computers will end up somewhere. Will, will they end up in a landfill? Or will they end up being uh, upgraded to, forced to be upgraded to Windows 11? Or Linux? It's doubtful. I hope Linux takes over the world, but I have doubts. Regardless, all of those computers, perfectly working computers, most of them probably need batteries. And my biggest obstacle, <coughs> quiet on the set. My biggest obstacle right now in refurbishing all these laptops and buying these laptops in bulk is batteries. Because if I buy this laptop for $40, and I'm trying to sell it for $120 after installing an SSD, upgrading the RAM, doing the thermal paste and all that stuff. If I need to buy a battery on this device, there goes all my profit. Now I'm taking a loss. And some I don't mind taking a loss on some computers, but when I'm dealing with 100 computers that all need batteries because they bloated and the manufacturer doesn't price the batteries at a point where it makes sense, then what am I doing? I'm losing so much money. So what I have on the table here, these are all Dell Latitude 7490s that were manufactured in 2018. These are some of the best uh, laptops that Dell ever made. I love these, these laptops. But they all have a problem, and it's not just a Dell problem. Every single one of them... That doesn't even have a battery. That battery's so bad, it, it, it's invisible. Every single one of them has a bloated battery. Every one. Every single one. So what am I going to do? I already paid for these computers, but now I need to replace the battery on every single computer. And that's going to cost money. Dinero. Mucho dinero, Lupe. You can buy these computers for about 60 to $80 online. They're not refurbished by the greatest technician that's ever lived. But you can refurbish it yourself using the things that you've learned watching my videos. So this brings up an issue because this is only a small batch of computers. It's a small example of the grand scale of what's happening right now and what's hap what's going to happen in the future. Now, yes, I can go on Amazon. I can buy a ba battery for $30 or something like that, right? But what battery am I getting? Th an aftermarket battery that no one knows how, how long it's going to last. It's probably not going to be good. And Dell doesn't manufacture the batteries anymore. It's been seven years. So, I mean, I kind of get it, right? That's a long time to support a product, especially a laptop. Uh, that's officially, I don't think these are, are officially supported by Windows 11. And I don't blame you for not liking Windows 11, because all Windows 11 is, is basically spyware, right? Yeah. And... Being spied on is creepy, but the reality is we're all spied on by corporations who collect our info and sell it to basically any company that wants to make money off of it. And though most countries do have laws to remove ourselves from these lists, doing so is so involved and time-consuming, barely any of us take advantage of it. Cause let's be real, ain't nobody got time for that. Thankfully, services like Incogni exist, which is a personal information removal service. It's something my wife and I have been using for a few months now, and I'm proud to have them as today's video sponsor because this is personal to me. A few years ago, my wife's identity was compromised and someone filed unemployment benefits under her name. We had to freeze her credit, change her cards, and do a ton of other time-consuming steps. It was an incredibly stressful process that took countless hours and cost us hundreds in lost revenue. But the best way to prevent this from happening in the first place is to have your personal information removed before malicious actors can exploit it, which is exactly what Incogni does. All you do is sign up, which takes like 10 seconds, then Incogni sends requests to these data brokers and follows up until the job is done. And if one of the brokers starts giving lip or is dragging their feet, Incogni hounds them like a crazy ex until the job is done and you're taken off these lists. They provide updates and you can see their progress reports every month so you can actually see your data being reclaimed. And these brokers aren't just using your data to send you annoying spam emails or non-stop robocalls, which have become the norm of today. They're selling your info to those creepy people's search sites, where your info is at the mercy of stalkers and weirdos that want to know where you keep your toothbrush at night. Even health insurance companies will buy this data and use your 
your web history to raise your premiums, which just puts a cherry on top of this dystopian hellscape that is web privacy. Incogni doesn't let this slide, so whenever a new record pops up on a data broker site, they'll automatically take care of it by conducting repeated removal requests so your data stays off this sketchy market for as long as you use the service. So if you're interested in taking back your privacy, use code TEXPERTS at the link below to get an exclusive 60% off an annual Incogni plan, and watch as they fight sketchballs to take back your privacy. The quality of the batteries that you're getting on eBay, on Amazon, even me, if you think suppliers have some sort of uh, magical source of batteries, you're wrong. Because the good battery manufacturers, the, the, the ones that Apple uses and Dell uses, they all have contracts to not sell their batteries on the side. Which, you know, makes sense. That's, that's business. That's how it works. But you're forced to get a company that is, that doesn't have these big contracts and they're willing to sell these aftermarket batteries on the low. It's, it's not going to be uh, the same scale that the original batteries were. If you want a genuine battery, that's where it gets a little, a little weird. If your device is still somewhat new and you want a genuine battery, you're going to be paying a lot, of, a lot of money. I can get these batteries from uh, Parts People. Shout out to Parts People. For $100. $100. Now that's not Parts People's fault. They're not the ones who are pricing that egregiously. It's Dell. So would you spend $100 on a device that costs 60 bucks? That is no longer officially supported by Windows 11. Yeah, you can install Linux on it and it'll run great. You, sh you should install Linux on everything. But as a refurbisher, this is my biggest gripe that we get these laptops and we some of them we buy sight unseen. It's a risk because I'm just so determined to flood the market with used business grade laptops so that you or your mom, your uncle, when they go to buy a new laptop because they get that message that says Windows 10 isn't supported, hopefully you know how to bypass that message. If you don't, you should learn how to do that because you can bypass the Windows 11 requirements for free. But a lot of those people, they'll insist on buying a new laptop. I don't want them to go to Best Buy or Walmart and buy some $300 disposable piece of garbage that's gonna break in three years. Well, probably a year, right? Six months. Six months, Lupe gives them six months. <laughs> so this is what I'm struggling with right now because I'm trying to do the right thing and I'm trying to flood the market and make sure that people don't buy garbage and get screwed over uh, because I was in that position where my, you know, growing up, my dad didn't know any better. He would buy an HP and then it would break. And then we didn't have money to fix it, so we'd go out and he'd buy another HP and then it'd break. And you're stuck in that cycle of, of poverty, of you buy the cheapest thing because you just can't afford anything, anything that's else. better quality. Mm -hmm. You can't afford anything nice. So that's my goal. You guys know about this. I know I'm kind of repeating myself here, but this is such a bigger issue because it's not just laptops. It's phones, it's cars, especially EVs. Imagine you're uh, you, you spent 40 grand on a Tesla because you're not and then a few years later You need a battery replacement. That's gonna cost you 35 grand. It's stupid. It makes no sense It's happened frequently with uh, Hyundai now as well. Really? Yep. Yeah, I forgot uh, I think rich was the one who um, told me it was a Ionic a Hyundai a Hyundai Ionic and it needed a new battery and the battery cost more than the entire car cost Dude, why is that okay? Why is that okay? And it's okay because there's no limits on how much a company can charge for these, these products. I don't know the markup on the, the wholesale price of batteries though. That's where I'm ignorant. I don't know that and I don't know anybody in that industry. If you can chime in and not just say, well, I think if you're actually in the industry, feel free to chime in and correct me and let me know, you know, are, are companies screwing me with the markup or are these just really expensive to manufacture? Because Framework sells their batteries for the Framework 13 for 30 to $50, or it might be 30 to $70. It might be 40 to $70. I think it's $69. <laughs> but regardless, Framework is able to sell their batteries for cheap and you can go online and you can get them. Unfortunately, I checked today and they were out of stock. So I, <laughs> I don't know what the, they might, maybe they have a supply issue too. But the point still stands. If they're able to do it, why isn't another company able to do it? Dell, it's a hundred bucks. Lupe, do you wanna know how much it is for a MacBook Pro? 2021? Yes. Well, like 300 bucks or so? Higher. Really? Yep. Oh, then see, no, nah, hell no. $600. For a freaking MacBook Pro or a MacBook battery. $600. I gotta Dude. wear these so I look taller. Yes. $600, and you know why, Lupe? Because they don't sell you just the battery. You have to buy the top case with the battery already glued into it. Uh -huh. This is through the self-repair, self-service option. Oh, Lord. Yeah. They probably do charge less if you, if you have them do it. Yeah. But there's no law against that. At least in, in the US, there's no law against that. In the EU, there's regulations that uh, they say you can only charge so much. It has to be reasonable, but guess what? What's reasonable? <laughs> they don't define what reasonable is. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? What are we doing? What are we, what are we doing here? What is a reasonable price to keep your $2,000 device running 
for more than four years. If no one defines what reasonable cost is, then there's no such thing as a reasonable cost. And in the US, there is no actual meaningful right to repair laws. So like, wh where do we even go from here, man? When you buy a laptop, this is, it kind of stems back into the stop killing games thing. So when you buy a game, you're buying that game, right? You permanently own that game. What if that game is online based? Mm -hmm. And what if they shut down the server? What did you buy? Because that was what happened with Halo, right? It happened with The Crew. So it might be The Crew too. I'm not sure which one, but mm -hmm. it was The Crew. Yeah. It's, it started a whole movement. It got, the petition got more than a million signatures. Yeah. Uh, I haven't chimed in on it because I've been too busy building this space. Believe me, I, I wish I could have made a video on it, but I, I just, I don't like making a video on something unless I'm, I'm informed 100% and I do, my re I do my own research and I make sure that I know what I'm talking about. Should laptops come with expiration dates? That's what I'm getting at. Should your laptop come with an expiration date? Should your uh, vibrator come with an expiration date? Because that battery is eventually going to need to be replaced. Just like this. This isn't too bad. I mean, th this is 2018, right? This is like seven years or something like that. But still Th kind of new, you know what I'm saying? For you to get another laptop. Because I am only imagine how much it was for you to buy it once these were new. Yes. How much they cost. Yes. And because, yo, I spent $3,000 back in my day, but yep. then we're in 2025. It's time for maintenance. And this is the thing too, exactly. This is the thing too, Lupe. Who? Computers aren't like they were before because we plateaued in terms of what we actually need. The, 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 the average consumer doesn't need an i9-14900K. Mm -hmm. They can still use a processor from 10 years ago and they'll, it's perfectly fine. You throw an SSD in that bitch, they're flying. They're doing their Word documents, they're shopping on Amazon, they're on Ashley Madison, it works for them. But this is what determines when they get rid of their device. This spicy pillow. I'm gonna keep smacking it until it explodes and a skeleton comes out. So obsolete hardware isn't what determines when you need to upgrade your device now. It's the battery. It's the fucking battery. More than half of you watching this video, I guarantee it, more than half of you have replaced a phone or a device because the battery life was bad. I did it on my Asus, uh, my Asus ROG Phone 3 because I couldn't find a fucking battery. I couldn't find a reliable battery for it. And that's the other thing. I'm sure some of you too. You wanted to replace the battery, but you couldn't find the battery. And you go on eBay and you're gambling, man. You go on eBay, you're getting some fuck ass battery. It says it's genuine. I did a whole video on that. Oh, you can buy a genuine battery. It's not genuine, dude. It's not genuine. They're all garbage. It's genuine aftermarket. It's genuine aftermarket, A++++, <laughs> dear. And it's frustrating, man. And I, I just, I had to make this video just to kind of express how difficult it is for a refurbisher that's trying to do the right thing and keep these things out of the landfill. But I, I can't take thousands of dollars as a loss, right? And I don't also want to price these things at a point where I'm, I'm ripping people off now. Mm -hmm. I'm charging way too much for this, this laptop. This perfectly good friggin' laptop. It's just, it's, it's aggravating. And it's, a, it's, an, it's an issue that I feel like we don't talk about enough because these motherfuckers will end up in a landfill somewhere eventually, right? Yeah. My goal is to prolong that eventually. I wanna make sure someone's using this who otherwise doesn't have the money to buy something else. Should laptops come with an expiration date? Should phones come with an expiration date? Depending on how you use them, batteries have a finite life cycle. They will die. It's guaranteed that they'll die. Just like car batteries, 12 volt car, car batteries. I just replaced the battery in my Camaro because I was so busy for I didn't fucking drive the thing in four months. I drive my car without a battery. Lupe doesn't even have a battery. I walk everywhere. There's a fucking hamster in his trunk that's just <laughs> running on a wheel that charges his, uh, his electronics. <laughs> so it became a thing with automotive, right? The battery dies, eventually dies. So you go out and you buy a new battery. And we have great battery manufacturers. We have Duralast, we have... Whatever, I don't know, all these other ones, right? We have battery manufacturers that you don't have to worry about when you buy a car battery if it's gonna have the defect rate that these batteries do. Mm -hmm. Lupe remembers back in the day when I was doing iPhone repairs and I was doing repairs for customers for laptops. If you bring me an obscure laptop or even a common laptop, I get a battery for it, there's a 60% chance that person's coming back because that battery is dog shit. That sucked, dude. Sucked. With the iPhone, it was higher. It was like, probably like, it got to a point where it was probably seven out of 10 batteries. I would, if I wanted, if a customer needed one battery, I would order three or four. The defect rate's gonna be crazy. Mm -hmm. I guess what I'm getting at is stop killing devices. That's a movement I wanna start. Stop killing devices. And what I mean by that is batteries. Because batteries are what's going to kill the device. Once you need a battery, or once the average consumer needs a battery, and if it's not easy to replace, or if you need to spend $600 to buy one that's attached to the rest of the computer, they're gonna throw it up. That device is killed. That's it. Muerto. Muerto. 
it's gone. Your phone needs a battery to be replaced. The battery replacement's $300 on a phone that costs you, it's worth 60 bucks. Stop killing devices. That's the... That's the summary of today's video. And like I said, this isn't, this isn't it. So I have a ton of laptops in that room. How hot do you think that room is? Not that hot. It's like 96 degrees right now. Not that hot though, right? Not that hot. Jesus. Not that hot. Not that hot. It was that hot. So I, unfortunately I can't show you the laptops I have in there right now. But th that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Am I just, am I blowing this out of proportion? You know, uh, let me know. Stop, stop killing devices though. Let's start, let's start the petition. Stop killing devices. Where's your hat? I don't know. Where is my hat? I think my hat got burned. I think my hat burned. It's in my vaporized. It's in limbo. <laughs> Damn it. If you guys know where my hat is, leave a comment. Like and subscribe, hit that bell. Sign up for Lupe's Patreon. Send me cash at Lupe GE number cash one. Cash at Lupe GE one. He Soon needs money. Lupe 69. What?